I'm Amy. Welcome back to Needle to Know. In today's tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how I make a rolled hem on a hand sewn garment. I learned this technique by watching Jewel's tutorial. I will link her down below. In her tutorial, she covered several stitches, but the rolled hem stitch is the one that I have used the most. It is a quick, simple stitch and it's easy to learn. Um, this will be a quick short video and like I said if you need to know more information I will link Jewel down below. Go check out her other videos and her other stitch tutorials. They're great. The garment I'm working on today is the 18th century shift that I have been making completely by hand and I needed to hem the neckline and the bottom. I've already hemmed the sleeves. I am recording that process to show you how to make the rolled hem stitch. Just keep in mind that I am following a tutorial posted by Jewel. I will link her below. So I'm giving credit to her. This is her technique that I learned this from. So as you can see, I've started the hem here already. I have all these crisscrosses back and forth. Uh, but I'm going to show you how it's done. You originally start with a knotted piece of thread in the top of a folded over hem. My hem here is about quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. So we'll pretend that this is a knotted piece of thread, which apparently now it is. Then you take a stitch just past the double line of fabric, picking up a couple pieces of thread from the fabric, and then go back here to the fold and travel along the fold, picking up a few pieces of thread but not going through both layers of fabric. And you just continue on this process until you have a length that you're ready to roll. So do one more stitch here. Then, when you're ready to roll the hem, make sure that your needle and thread have just finished a stitch in the top part of the fold. Grab your thread close to the fabric. I'll zoom out here a little bit. And I hold it at the other end where I've already rolled over the fold and you just pull your thread and pulling the thread rolls the hem for you. To finish the rolled hem, when I get back around to where I started hemming, I just do a few quick little slip stitches, or whip stitches, whatever you want to call them, through both layers. 
and then I will knot off my thread and feed the needle through the hem for a length just to hide it. That is the hem finished, which means that that is also the shift finished. If you enjoyed this quick little tutorial, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more helpful tips and tricks and other videos about my sewing journey. Also, don't forget to check out Jules' channel. Thanks for watching.